Hey, have you ever heard this? You only use 10% of your brain. <laughs> Man, that seems like it's true for some people, but in reality, it's not true. It's a lie. The myth that humans only use 10% of their brain, it's just that. It's a myth. In fact, you actually use almost every part of your brain. And most of your brain is active almost all the time. When I was a kid, I was told not to drink coffee because they said it could stunt your growth. Now, I'm 5'5", five five, but that's not because I drank coffee. In fact, that statement's just a lie. I mean, it's true the consumption of caffeine has been linked to calcium loss, but it's not enough to affect your bones. So keep drinking your coffee and don't worry about stunting your growth. Here's another one I was told. I was told that I couldn't go swimming after eating because it would give me a cramp. It's another lie. And even though your parents or grandparents used to tell us about all the perils of jumping into the pool on a full stomach, there are no known incidents of a person cramping up or drowning because they swam right after they ate. All right, so maybe you could say, well, those are all old wives' tales, but certainly we can trust history. Can you? Let me ask you something. How tall was Napoleon? You'd say, I don't know, he was short, right? No, he was 5'7". Did your teachers ever tell you that Albert Einstein, even though he was smart, that he actually failed math? Why do we even believe that lie? Einstein was actually, and obviously, very good at math. Now, he did fail a college exam uh, for a polytechnic school one time in Zurich, but funny enough, the part that he did pass was the math section. Or uh, what about this one? The Great Wall of China is visible from space lie. <laughs> no, the Great Wall of China is not visible from space. And NASA actually disproved that myth way back in 2004. You know, we can laugh, but frankly, I'm sick of it. You know, we are told and taught so many lies that you don't even know who to trust anymore. Aren't you sick of lies and rumor and conspiracy theory and chain emails. I mean, everybody nowadays has a podcast. Everyone has written a self-help book. Everyone is an expert. And everyone is telling me how to vote, how to eat, how to raise my kids, and how to live. And I'm sick of it. I am. You want to know the truth? <laughs> me too. All right. How about a couple more lies? All right. Here, here's some uh, about the Bible. The Bible is full of contradictions. The Bible was written by people. The Bible has left out important books that should have actually been left in. In fact, I heard the Bible was assembled by a bunch of grumpy old men who were pro-war, pro-slavery, and anti-women. Have you ever heard any of those before? Yeah, me too. And guess what? All of them are lies. You see, that's the thing about a lie. We believe it either because it sounds true or because we want it to be truth. But truth is not something you can just make up. Truth is not a social construct. It's not even something you can invent. Truth can be known and truth can be proven. Now, I'm not talking about your truth and my truth. I'm talking about the only truth that matters. The God's honest truth. Now this Sunday at Walden Church, we're going to hit all of those lies that we've all heard spread about the Bible. We're going to hit them head on. And we're going to arm you with truth. In fact, from now through New Year's, we're going to keep looking at truth. We're going to look at the truth behind the Bible, the truth behind history, the pilgrims, and yes, even the truth about Christmas. No cartoons, no fairy tales, no wives tales just the God's honest truth. This Sunday at Walden Church, we have two services, one at 9.30. It's a traditional service and we have a choir. And then we have an 11 o'clock service, which is more contemporary and we have a worship team. Also at 11, we have childcare for both little ones and we have a youth group. We even have youth group during the week. Our youth, our high school and junior hires meet every single Wednesday at six o'clock. You can send them over on their skateboard. We will feed them dinner 
and we'll send them back to you in about an hour and a half. Hey, even if you go to some other church, we still want to be the church where you live. Let us know how we can serve you better, and I'll see you this Sunday.